Good morning, everyone. I did not post a video on Friday, so I'm doing extra one this week on Sunday instead of Monday to make up for it. And I wanna show you guys what I've been working on this morning. Welcome to the new and improved pumpkin patch. So the pumpkins were getting a little crazy, so I moved the tomatoes over there and I screwed some screws here and a little bit of wire and I'm making the pumpkin climb up this wall now because he was getting crazy and he was <laughs> latching onto the tomato plants. He clearly wants to climb, so I'm just gonna let it. Uh, so I've got two pumpkin plants. This one's got a massive yellow flower right now. Unfortunately, I keep getting boy flowers, so none of them have been pollinated yet because there's no girl flowers. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. If you're not a gardener, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But um, I keep getting boy flowers. I don't know if we'll actually get any pumpkins. This is my watermelon, and everything over here is really cute. My mom sent me an alligator for some reason, so I put him over here. I found some rocks over in my backyard, so I moved them over here. And yeah, I've been digging up some stuff this morning, transferring worms, like a worm real estate agent. And yeah, just living my best life. And everything else is also doing really, really well. So I'm not gonna get into that because I'm actually going to film a full garden tour for anyone who cares about the garden. Because I know some people are like, I skipped through the gardening, which is like, this is gonna be most of my channel now, guys. This is kind of my big hobby, so I don't know what to tell y'all. Look at the flowers on this potato plant. I, who knew that potatoes grew such pretty little flowers? Would you like to say good morning? Good morning. You guys can hear my woodpecker. Someone pointed it out in the other video and now I can't unhear it. He's always pecking. Hey, flower? Yeah, do you hear a woodpecker? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. So today's mission is to finally, possibly organize my kitchen cabinets. Please excuse the dishwasher being noisy. I have like my counters cleaned off and everything. I just did that. I just cleaned my sink. Let this be a reminder to you guys. Fruit flies suck. Make sure your sink drains are clean this summer because yeah, they're just the worst when you're eating an apple and they're just following you like a mob. But anyway, my counters are all clean and wiped. Sink is clean coffee stations all set up. I do want to get a coffee cart at some point. I'm just looking for a really particular cute one. I also put out a pot of sun tea this morning. Sun tea, if you don't know, you put tea leaves in water um, or you could use tea bags, but I, I have a little like tea infuser in this teapot and then you put it in the sun and the sun warms up the water for you and makes you some tea and then you drink it over ice and you make your own little iced tea without any work. Okay, so I look like a mess because I've been outside running around all day long, but I just did some stuff in Fievel's room and I thought I would show you guys. So I don't know how much you've seen of Fievel's room. I mean, it's just a square room. There's nothing that exciting in here. I hung some curtains and then today I hung these two shelves. This one was always in his room and then this one used to be my tea shelf. 
So I'm just putting toys up there for now because we have a lot of small clutter toys and I'd rather not throw it all in a toy box. So I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that. And we also have the very messy ball pit. Um, still love his bed. And yeah, so this is Fievel's room. Nice and cute, huh? Yeah. We've got nothing new in Stella's room since we did the string lights and I'm washing her bedding at the moment. I am sunburned. I am gross <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much all I had to say about that I don't have anything else happening today so I thought I'd just sit down and chat with you guys since this is just a lazy Sunday well actually it wasn't lazy we did the water balloons which I normally don't buy water balloons I don't think I ever have but they came home with Stella from school after their graduation she got like a fun summer bucket so we did that and the kids loved it so now of course we have to start buying water balloons which means I have to pick those up out of the lawn before I mow the lawn and they're shredded rubber all over my backyard but they enjoyed it, so I'm gonna let it slide. What else? Um, I broke down a bunch of firewood. I think I'm gonna burn that tonight and sit out on my patio by myself and drink iced tea, and it's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. I'm also really looking forward to having a shower. Um, but this weekend, I actually have a date, which is kind of funny because I don't need a boyfriend, I need a therapist. <laughs> After that whole like Nick debacle happened, but He's taking the kids this weekend because I asked him if he wanted to and he said yes and I was like, you know what, I could find a man real quick. So I'm going to go on a date with a nice man who is so weird. It's so weird that I'm even telling you this because normally I keep this on my Patreon. But um, he and I are from all of the same places. So we both are from Illinois, similar towns, not the same one, but close enough to where like we both know about like each other's neighborhoods. Uh, both lived in Illinois, both lived in Fort Hood, and now we're both living here in Tennessee near Fort Campbell. So very weird that we're living in all of the same places and just barely missing each other. In fact, there is a restaurant in Fort Hood. Well, not Fort Hood, but in Texas. It's actually in Temple. It's across the street from the hospital that Stella was in the NICU at. It's kind of like an obscure place. Like I don't think a lot of people know about it unless you spend a lot of time at the hospital because it's right across the street kind of like the staff knows about it but it's it's hidden away a little bit so i on the off chance that he knew what it was i asked him have you ever been to meg's cafe and he was like oh my gosh i was there all the time when my buddy was in the hospital he lost his hand i spent like months with him at that hospital and i was there all the time i was like no way <laughs> because when my daughter was in the hospital I spent like every day there. Like that's basically the only place that we ate in the area because it's right across the street. So we like just keep missing each other. And so I was like, do I need a man? No, but this one's a little too like weird. There there's too many coincidences there. So I was like, I'll go see him. Uh, I actually don't know what we're doing. There's a car driving very slowly around my street. Get away from me. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know if it's gonna be like they're like stopped in front of my house. Okay, weird. But anyway, I don't know what we're doing. So if you have any recommendations for good first dates, um, I kind of hate dinner dates. I hate them. I hate sitting face to face with a stranger and eating and like talking and eating at the same time, especially if the conversation's good, you end up either not eating your food or doing that thing where you take a bite and you're like, and then you have to talk because no one likes to talk with their mouth full, or at least I hope they don't. So. I hate that. I also am not a big drinker and I don't like people picking me up for dates. So like, I'm not going to just assume that he's going to be driving. So I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be end up doing, but I'm kid free. So that's very exciting. And now I'm going to end today's video here because I desperately need a shower, but it was fun talking to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little extra video or not really so extra because I didn't post on Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.